Hey everybody, we're here today uh, doing a video on cutting uh, cutting meat. Specifically today is a ribeye. Uh, then we're also going to do a prime rib for Harvey's as well. So uh, we're going to start, and I already started cutting this loin to speed up the video. But basically I, I pulled the cap off. I took and I pulled any excess, the unusable fat from the tail uh, to kind of shorten the tail. Then I made my first cut. And we're going to cut a few on film. But what I want to show you here on the scale is after you make your first cut, uh, we're at 12.8 and our variance is uh, 11 and a half to 12 and a half with a 12 ounce spec. So what we want to do is we're going to focus on this lip today. So typically, usually what we're doing is we're squaring off the lip and then kind of mitering down the steak to make 12 ounces or 12 and a half as far as we can get there. What we need to start doing is taking that entire tail and getting rid of it uh, to shoot for that 12 ounce, 12 ounce spec. So this is why I'm doing it ahead of time. There's a 12. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna cut from scratch. We're gonna cut off the loin. This is kind of a larger loin, but we're going to aim for about a 13 ounce cut. That's 13.4. We're not gonna trim anything unless it's dangling. Okay, we're in the past, we used to trim from the bottom. What we're gonna focus on now is getting rid of that tail, squaring it off so it doesn't burn and then shooting for that 12 ounce range. Now it's 12.6, what we're not gonna do is before we do a little origami and we trim it here a little bit and trim it there a little bit, we're just going to leave this at 12.6 and give it to the guest. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. Okay, we're gonna take and we're gonna shoot for about 13 ounces. That way we can wind it down, okay? 13.8, we're going to take and not touch anything from down here. Again, we're gonna chop off that tail, square it off. We're gonna put it on 13. Now this is good. This is uh, 13, we're not going to take. Our only option in the past would be to keep on doing origami and windling this down, okay? Our spec is 12, our tolerance is 11 and a half to 12 and a half. But when we go for something like this, where we just have to cut it down and make it work, we're just gonna say 13 is good. We're gonna serve that 13 to the guest instead of taking those pieces and throwing it away. Okay, we don't want to do that for the norm, but if we've cut that and it's a little heavy, that's okay, okay? So we're gonna take and carry that over. Again, we're focusing on the tip, or on the tail rather, uh, where it's not going to be that big blob of fat. And this will eliminate and hopefully eliminate the rest of the comps that we're getting. Okay, so that's the ribeye. From there, we're gonna go to the prime rib. Okay, whole stick of prime rib. Uh, we have the netting, the seasonings, everything ready to go. So before the shift, we're going to take and loosen up the netting. We can just kind of pull this back to get ready for our cut, okay? Uh, if it's a Friday night, Saturday night, we might want to trim this back and get rid of it until halfway through, but that's gonna hold it together for the most part. What we don't want to do is take and cut pieces and try to pull these little pieces away because we're gonna miss some. So we're gonna take the first cut. We're gonna make a couple of different cuts here. Okay, we're gonna take the first cut and then we'll do a center cut so you can see it. Okay, and I'm only gonna do two for just to save the product. Okay, we're gonna take this, anything hanging off is going to go, and then this tail piece right here is going to be gone completely. So we're gonna take and chop that completely off, and then put it in the au jus if we need to cook it up. Okay, so we're not gonna leave that. We're gonna take and diagonally cut that off so we don't have a tail whatsoever. There's no glob of fat on the end, okay? So again, there's that tail on the prime rib, and here's the tail on the ribeye. It's completely gone, okay? Please give me a call with any questions. Thank you.